All right, so target bones are another tool that you can use for very different reasons, but for one of the way I think you can use it is to make your character more flexible. Um, as you can see, I have a character um, on the screen and you can see I have already added bones to it. Um, now, if you don't know what bones are or how to put bones on a character, um, I have uh, made tutorials about that in the past. So I put links of those tutorials down below and at the end of this video. And uh, I really recommend you to watch it um, before you start with this one. Uh, but if you are aware of bones and bone rigging, um, we can get started. Um, so what we want to do is we want to make the character bend uh, through his knees. Um, and if you would do that, uh, if you would take this bone right here and you would move it, you get this. He moves like this and this is not what we want. Now, of course, you can just um, move the character like this and then put it lower. Um, but there's an easier way to do it. And that is with target bones. So what we do for that, we are going to zoom in on the legs. And just to keep in mind, um, we have um, attached these bones right here to the legs, um, these two to the right leg, and the other to the left leg, and these bones right here on the shoe, the left shoe and the right shoe. And of course, they are all connected with each other. Um, so just keep that in mind. Now, um, what we do, we deselect all, all the bones by just clicking here so that none of them are selected because we don't want to connect these bones to any of them. So we take the add bone tool and we draw a bone right here between this bone and this bone. Right here. And then we take the bone string tool and we reduce the strength by clicking on it, hold your mouse and move to the left. So this region gets away. Um, then we are going to name the bone and we do that by take the selection by taking the select bone tool and click right here and we name it target right leg because it's focused on the top, on the right leg um, then we are going to do the same thing again but this time for this leg the left leg and for that we deselect the bone again oh like this, take the add bone tool, and this time draw one within the middle of these two bones, right here. Take the bone string tool, reduce the strength again, and we name the bone again. And this time we call it target left leg. Um, <clears throat> now that we've done that, um, we're going to select this bone right here and we go to bone constraints and you can see here the option target and we click on it and we click on target right leg so so what happens if if I zoom in uh, a little circle has appeared with this bone which means that now this bone has become a target bone connected with this bone and if we take uh, the manipulate bones tool and we move this time you can see that although it still moves like before this uh, leg is already bending um, so it's already working but not perfect of course we need to do the same thing for this bone right here and we select this this bone and we got the bone constraints target and target left leg so now this bone is selected as well uh, this bone has become a target bone as well for this one and if we move this one right now you can see it's already they are both bending not perfect yet but uh, we have to fix one more thing and that is we select these bones 
uh, right here. Hold, just hold in shift and then s select them both. So they're both selected. Uh, then we go to bone constraints and we click on independent angle. And what happens if you do that, um, they will stand, they won't go down below that much. It's not real, really working that smooth yet, but it's a bit better. Now, now you can see it's already bending. Now, I do have to say that with target bones, you need, sometimes you struggle with it. Um, you could already see it um, just yet. Right now, it's not bending the way we want. Sometimes you just need to move it the right way. Uh, but this is what we want, for instance. This is the kind of effect that we were looking for. And that way it has become more flexible. And right now you can see it's not it's not going the way we want. Um, if you get in trouble, all you need to do is go to frame one and it get back it get back gets back to normal. Um, but anyway, that is a way to make your character more flexible. Now you can do anything, you can just maybe make um, the legs, the points of the legs move it a little bit like this so you, it, it, you won't get the effect of the leg being removed from the shoe um, or anything like that um, and like I said it's a, it can be a bit of a struggle um, to move it um, but once you figure it out in the end it works better so yeah that is a way to make it more flexible um, just see if you can use it experiment with it and um, yeah maybe it can be very helpful for your animations so yeah that's the end of this tutorial um, if you have <clears throat> if you have any more questions leave a comment down below and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching guys.